right hand, who's next in North America? In North America, right hand. The list is the list is big. Um, look, Ron Bath might be next step for that one. Could be Chance Shaw. Could be. I think it depends. I think if Ron Bath beats Chance and I beat Sanders, a match with Chance would be a waste of time. Okay. Um, so I think you know if I beat Sanders. Um, next step would be, yeah, it'd be Matt Mask, Ron Bath, that type of, probably even Matt Mask right-handed. I think if, yeah, it'll be, that's a I big like win. that match. So, uh, just, so we, just so we all know, um, I'm going to give you guys the, the top five of uh, the right-hand 242 class. We got Pablo. This is in the hook rankings by Chan yeah. Shaw. We got number five, Pablo. We got number four, Eric Gerlach out of Texas. Number three, we got Canada's own Matt Mask, and that's who uh, you're saying would be a good match. In front of him is a legend, Ron Bath, which number two. And then number one, Marcio Barboza. Yeah. So I got to admit, bro, uh, almost any of those uh, any of those four matches are, are very interesting matches for me. Like, I, I definitely, definitely feeling it. And, uh, but out of all of them, man, for your own, if I was you, the one that I would uh, that would really stick out to me is uh, legend Ron Bath. You know, this is one of the yeah. greatest to ever live. And uh, just to, to say that you got to win on, on him is just, you know, that's got to be next level. So what, what would you think of that, man? Is that uh, yeah. is that the match that you'd want out of all of them? Looks like all roads lead to Ron Bath and then eventually Marcia, right? It just, yeah. I oh, would definitely right-handed. I would like that match as well, big time. Yeah, so yeah. Ron Bath, right hand. Ron Bath, right hand. Uh, I mean, he can go anywhere, right? I've seen him dig in hard inside. Um, I think I'd probably get the the hit on him, to be honest, on the right hand, uh, which is going to give me a lot of room to, to move. I think last time we met was left-handed, but his left and right seems pretty similar in the way that he moves. And I think as long as I can get on my side of the table, I'll get the job done. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, what do you think of a match with uh, Matt Mask? How does that go? Man, a map <laughs> match between Matt Mask and I would be fire because when I see a man carrying on the way he does, I just want to headbutt him. <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, yo, that could be, uh, that could turn it into some fireworks. It could be a fight at that one because uh, Matt is, he's an animal. That dude yeah. is really about it. And I know how you are, bro. You ain't backing down. And kind of like when you and Ryan kind of pulled each other, you two, uh, you guys got a little physical and, you know, you weren't, you were just like, you weren't backing down at all. So I could nah. see that going down with you and Matt. <laughs> I wouldn't be backing down. <laughs> Plus, I'm bad. Like, I'll, I'll do shit. Like, I'll stare at, at my opponent and my first win. It's like, every, <laughs> I did this with Austin. I try and win at every, as soon as I see them, I try and take little wins. Yeah. So I'll stare at someone until they look down. There's my first win. When uh, the thing with the table happened with Austin and I, and we had to change the, the pads over, my number one goal was to get the, the wing nuts on before he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I heard you say that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just every chance I get to win, I'll I'll do it. So even at the littlest thing, I'm just trying to get just stack those little wings up so I can get in the head. <laughs> now, what what's the harder ma uh, match for you, uh, style wise, Matt Mask or Ron Bath? I think stylistically, the harder match is uh, Matt Mask. He's another tall dude, um, but he's someone that if you stop his hit, nothing. He just has no stick. Like he'll hit once and then you can just keep working him over and he doesn't seem to have uh, a lot of grind to him, you know. He's just kind of hit, 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 and then nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's what I kind of get from that. So. And uh, another one one match that I uh, brings interest to me, just because you guys pull each other in the way that it turned out the first time would be uh, the rematch of you and Mike Aiello. Yeah, what man, we, get at? I'm always keen to pull Mike. He just needs to get back to form. As we all know, he's had some pretty serious back surgery. So, um, And I'm someone that doesn't like to pull someone unless they're 
So that was kind of the same thing with Pablo. It was meant to have him right-handed. He said he got a little bit hurt against John. And you heard me when you asked me. I was like, no, nah, I don't want it. Unless he's 100%, I don't want it. So I don't like having excuses and bullshit after a match. So when I beat you, make sure that you're in shape. So, yeah. Because I, yeah, I show shout up. Out to, shout out to Mike Aiello. We, uh, we were all wishing you a fast recovery, bro. Uh, you know, yeah. we know you went through some... Uh, really uh crazy back surgery and i think he had to do it a couple of times you know they had a few yeah. problems or whatever and you know we're just we're just hoping that you come back and uh stronger than ever and you know you get healthy soon bro yeah so uh with that being said i would like to call it a night um i know i had you uh up all night we were at the gym and you know then <laughs> Had you doing this long ass interview. So uh, I'm going to let you finally get to sleep. And uh, tomorrow, Lachlan finally goes back to uh, home. He goes back to Australia. I'm sure, you're looking forward to that. Get back to your wife and, and your kids and yeah, man. all the puppies and all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a busy household, man. Two kids, two dogs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's busy, but now nah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Big time. I just want to thank you, bro, for uh, I had a, a blast this last week, bro. There's uh, not too many guys that, uh, you know, I can hang out with every day for a week and I uh, still love to be around them and all. But uh, it was a blast, bro. I uh, had lots of fun. Um, just want to congratulate you one more time on an amazing weekend of uh, two big wins. And uh, you put a show on for everybody. And uh, I'm very, very happy and uh, thankful for everything you did, bro. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you're happy and it was an all amazing week. So thanks heaps for showing me around everywhere, driving me everywhere. It's just, it was, you know, you really take care of your athletes and I appreciate that very much. It's been, been an amazing week. So anyone that gets a chance to be a part of your promotion is, I mean, they're doing something right and they need to recognize when they get something good handed to them and, and you're the man, Polly. So um, thanks heaps, man. That was an awesome week. Thank you, brother. Well, uh, have a great night. And uh, to all my subs out there, please uh, click that subscribe button. If you just like this interview, smash that like button, bro. So uh, have a great night, bro. Same, man. Thanks.